Captain Marvel, starring Brie Larson, is another feminist take to save womankind. But let's back this up a bit. I'd like to point out that the first and original female Captain Marvel was black and in the 70s. So this whole take on breaking the glass ceiling is absurd. In fact, it's a step backwards because they made her white but um, I digress. Despite all this, they are really pushing this whole campaign as some feminist hero. Hollywood Reporter says Captain Marvel Brie Larson can't save womankind, but she's doing her best. Mashable reports Brie Larson on what makes Captain Marvel a big feminist movie. The whole PR move is to revolve around feminism. I mean, nothing new for Hollywood today, right? And she even is making sure that her press tour isn't overwhelmingly white male, handpicking minority journalists. Don't even need to point out how racist that is. But another interesting thing about all this is how horribly Hollywood box offices are doing and the comic book industry itself when they try to go woke. It may be because of this that they thought of some PR stunt to fund underprivileged girls tickets to see the movie. Nonprofit founder Fred T. Joseph has started a GoFundMe page to help pay for tickets for girls to see Captain Marvel in theaters. The movie will be released on March 8th, which is International Women's Day. This film also marks the first female-led movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Everyone should have an opportunity to see women in roles they can aspire to one day be. Roles that show women as strong, smart, and bold. From a teacher to a fighter pilot or a superhero, this is an opportunity to continue to empower girls to be just that. Marvel Studios' first female-led film, Captain Marvel, offers this type of important representation. We want to help girls from various backgrounds have the opportunity to see the film by providing tickets and renting out theaters. But it has been pointed out that this is not really helping underprivileged girls. It's only a system of putting more money into the pockets of Marvel, Disney, Larson, and inflating ticket sales. A Twitter user responded, how about buying underprivileged girls food, clothes, etc., instead of buying tickets to a movie that will only benefit Disney and Bree's wallet. Disney knows they need to inflate ticket sales because they know they need all the help they can get to get this movie to open big. And this is exactly it. Instead of actually helping, these people focus on inflating sales and promoting their cause, but use a veneer of generosity to sound so great. There are so many ways to help out underprivileged girls, but uh, seeing a movie is uh, not it. The way they are acting about this, you think that there was never an inspirational female character in a Hollywood movie. I am uh, just not seeing the big fuss over this movie being so important to women. It's such an odd PR move. For all of the people claiming that politics shouldn't be in the arts when a conservative has a certain point of view, they do not hide their political agenda. And uh, that is exactly what it is, an agenda, and they even say so. They take pride that the actress has inserted her own political voice into the character. Her co-star Samuel L. Jackson has said, and to work with Brie, who has a very political aware sense of self, who not afraid to use her platform to push female agendas has been a real joy. So when it comes to conservatives having political opinions, even outside of work, it has nothing to do with their work, it's completely unacceptable in that community. But if you are a liberal and insert that agenda very openly into your work, you are hailed as a hero, a superhero. If you want to see more from me and the rest of the Rebel team, like and subscribe.